to be honest, I haven't been this entertained in a long time. And maybe that's because of the whole pandemic we're in. But Free Guy was such an entertaining movie. But before I continue, I will be talking spoilerish stuff in this review. So consider this your warning to get out of here. Go watch the movie. But this movie was fun. It's only in theaters. So I live here in Vegas and I went out to one of the casinos, a Regal Cinema, and we checked it out and it was almost a packed house for eight o'clock on a Saturday. So it seemed to be the thing to do this weekend is to go see Free Guy because even all the showings when I was booking it were selling out pretty fast. So maybe the, the box office numbers will show that at least here in Vegas, it seemed to be doing pretty good. And I searched around for various theaters and it, and it definitely was selling tickets. And I thought I, I fell in love with the movie. Now, basically it's a, a, a group of tech geniuses that create this game and a sim basically or a character in the game that's not a human controlling it i can't remember why this leaving me right now is beyond me uh but it's just one of those like if you played uh grand theft auto those ones that kind of that are just there in the background and you run over and basically so ryan reynolds characters is one of these you know characters in this game but he starts having free will and the creators of this game understood it that this was a ai an artificial intelligence that they had created they didn't know it was going to work and that's how free guy ends up doing the things he does in this movie i'm trying to not keep it or trying to keep it as spoiler free as possible because uh, i think you guys need to go check out this movie and you guys will definitely again be entertained and that's basically it. He's becoming more self-aware. And as he's becoming more self-aware, he wants to fight for his for his right to party right now for his right to live, you know, whatever form that is. I mean, it's it's he's he's, he's self-aware enough to know that he wants to to continue that and not die. So that's literally as basic as the premise. Now, you do have an outside in the real world. Uh, the tech genius played by, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, but I'm going to call him Korg for all intensive purposes. Taika Watiti, I know I butchered his name, um, but he plays the, basically the, the head honcho that at first tries to exploit Free Guy for the success and the media exposure because everybody's falling in love with Free Guy. And then he turns into the evil you know switches to because he can't control them he can't market them he can't make money off of them so he goes on this rampage to destroy free guy and that's where the the foot the dynamic or the interesting or the action and whatnot the casting in this was brilliant uh channon tatum comes off in this movie and i at first i didn't know if it was him because he's introduced fairly early on but the way he's dressed the way what he's doing you can't really tell it's him and I was like, is, you know, is that Channing Tatum? And then someone next to me said, yeah, that's him. And I thought that was, it was great cast. Not just because of Channing Tatum, but everyone. I thought the acting was great. The pacing of the movie was oh, was good. There was a, a couple parts where it lagged. And just wait towards the third act. There's this dude called, well, he's literally called Dude. And he's like a buff version. You guys seen him on the previews. He's the buff version of Ryan Reynolds. There's a scene there where I, you just have to see it. The crowd erupted in cheering and clapped her. And I mean, you guys just, if you go see, when you go see it in the cinema, you'll know exactly. Cause I think I've, I've heard many people have that same reaction in that little part. And let's just leave it at this, that it just goes to show how popular another studio is that that thing still has that kind of gravitas and that cameo was golden 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 so i i just thought it was it was it was it was perfectly done perfectly acted it was a complete joy to watch as when i came in people were just raving about how good and entertaining that was 
And honestly, like I've been saying for a, a, a summer blockbuster, I don't know if it's considered a summer blockbuster, probably not, but for a summer movie that's just going to deliver on pure entertainment, uh, this was it. I, again, I, I, I found it fun, interesting, and I get it. It's Deadpool in another movie, right? Is Ryan Reynolds now been typecast where no matter what he does, it's just Deadpool now. And people need to stop that because if you see Ryan Reynolds before Deadpool, this is the way he acted. Not that he's a one trick pony. It's just that's his delivery mechanism. Same thing with other actors, actors and uh, actresses that have that delivery style. This is his. It's unfortunate that people just view him now uh, as Deadpool just because he made that character so iconic. So now everybody's like, well, Free Guy is just going to be, you know, Deadpool playing Free Guy. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I do. I just think it's unfair. And if you go into that with that, I mean, you definitely get that sense. Don't get me wrong. When you see the movie, you're like, wow, you could put Deadpool in this and it could li it could fit just as well. Um, but, it, you know. It is what it is. People have their own opinion, but this movie was an A for me. I, I enjoyed it. The crowd response was great. The, there was laughter. There was people that, uh, I mean, no one was bored. I, I couldn't see one person that was not into the movie. As I glanced around, people were focused, interactive with it. Uh, again, it, it hit on the right notes. So for me, it was an A. Uh, not an A+, plus, but it was definitely an A. Not Again, not... Oscar worthy is not going to win all any awards, but just as pure fun, fast paced entertainment that, you know, delivers on in, in every way, in every step of the way, I thought it did a magnificent job. So anyways, those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.